All right, in this problem, you are going to calculate the energy for a phase change. So we're starting with 35.4 grams of ice, and we're going to heat that from negative 12 to 0 degrees. Before we start, we're going to set up a heat curve. Make sure you label your temperatures. Since it's water, it should melt or freeze at a zero and boil at a hundred. We're starting at negative 12.5 and we're going to go to zero degrees in this first step. So we're on a slant, it's changing temperatures. Anytime you're on a slant or you're changing temperature, you're going to use Q equals MC delta T. We're looking for energy. Our mass is 35.4. And what state of matter are we currently? We're in the first slant, which is solid, so we need to use the CP of water at solid, which is 2.06. And then our change in temperature is negative 12.5 to 0. So that's a difference of 12.5 degrees Celsius. So Q is equal to 911.55 joules. Next, we're going to melt the ice. So we're going to go from the orange to the pink dot. Notice temperature is not changing. We're just melting it. So we're going to use Q equals MHF. We don't know Q, we know the mass because the mass hasn't changed. It's still 35.4 grams. And you look at your constant of 334. And you get 11,823.6 joules. Now we're going to heat that melted ice from 0 degrees to 100 degrees. So again, we're on a slant. We're changing temperature. So we're going to need to use our MCAT. Mass hasn't changed. We're on that second slant, which is liquid, so we need to use the liquid CP. And our change in temperature from 0 to 100 is 100. So you get 14,811.4 joules. Next, we're going to vaporize that water. So we're going to go from the green dot to the red dot. Notice no temperature change while it's being vaporized. So it's just Q equals MHV. Mass hasn't changed. And we know our heat of vaporization because it's a constant. You can get 80,004 joules. Okay, finally, and on the last one, we're going to go from 100 degrees to 150 degrees. So we're going to go from the red dot up and we're changing temperature so Q equals MC delta T. 
mass still the same. We're in the third slope, so we're at steam. So we need to use 2.02. .02. And we're going from 100 to 150, so that's 50 degrees change. So Q is equal to 3575.4 joules. Finally, it says, what is the total heat required for that process to go from A to E? So all you do is add up all your answers that you got from A to E. And you get this huge number. So convert your answer to scientific notation. And you should get 1.11 times 10 to the 5th. That will also take care of any rounding that you may have had that was different. So put your answer in three sig figs in scientific notation. Pause the iPod and try to figure out how many steps you're going to need for this one. So we're starting at negative 8, and we're ending at 215, so somewhere up there. So it's going to be one step, two steps, three, four, and five. So it's going to be five steps just like it was a second ago. So you can pause it again and see if you can figure out those steps on your own. So the first step, we're changing temperature. So we're going to have to use our MCAT equation. We know our mass. It's solid, so 2.06. And we're going from negative 8.5 to 8 to 0, so that's a difference of 8.5. Then we're going to melt it. So we use Q equals MHF. Then we're going to heat it again. So we need to use MCAT. And we're liquid this time, so we have to use 4.184. And we go from 0 to 100, so that's a change of 100. Next, we're vaporizing it, so no change in temperature. So we're going to use Q equals MHV. And finally, we're changing the temperature again. So we need to use Q equals MCAT. Vapor, so we need to use 2.02. .02. And our change in temperature is 100 to 215, which is a change of 115. Add all those up and put your answer in scientific notation. And you should get 2.91 times 10 to the 5th joules.
pause the iPod and try this one on your own. Restart when you think you have it. So the first step you should have done was drew your heating curve and figured out where you're starting and where you're ending. You're starting at 119 degrees Celsius, which should be up here, and you're ending at 56, which should be between 0 and 100. So somewhere in there. So that's one, two, three steps. So the first step, we're going to change the temperature. So we need to use Q equals MC delta T. Our mass was 50, and it's a gas, so 2.02, .02, and our change in temperature is 19. Next, we're going to vaporize it or condense it. So same section of the graph, so we use Q equals MHV and the last section is temperature change again so Q equals MCAT. We're water though so we need to use 4.184 and our change in temperature is 100 minus 56 or 44 degrees Celsius. Adding them and putting it in scientific notation, you get 1.24 times 10 to the 5th. Pause the iPod for the next one and restart when you think you have the answer. The answer you should have gotten was D. If you got that, you are done with this lesson. If not, then follow along and see where you messed up. We are just melting the sodium chloride, so we're just using Q equals MHF. So you plug your mass in, but then when you plug in your HF, your HF was given in kilojoules per mole. We were given grams, so it's not going to cancel out. So you can't plug in your mass in grams. You're going to have to convert it to moles. When you do that, you get 3 moles, so now it's just 3 times 28.16. Our units will cancel out, giving us kilojoules, and we get 84.5.